Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, No Face, and today we're talking about uh, Hio Mizaki. Um, I probably pronounced that wrong, and I'm sure you can tell me uh, Hio Mizaki diehard fans in the comments below. And I know that some people might not be filled in correctly, but Hio Mizaki is a, um, I guess, director and um, writer who made a bunch of animated films that I'm sure you've heard of at least once or twice. It's like the uh, nowadays... Uh, version of Nightmare Before Christmas, all the niche people and the hipsters are like, oh, you never seen that? you never seen this movie? Um, anyway, it's a good amount of anime films that a, a man created with his Studio Ghibli. And um, the man has now passed away, and I do not wish to disrespect him in any sense of the word, but I will be talking about some uh, movies that I didn't get and didn't understand. Um, if you are a... Um, Studio Ghibli fan, you know, there's a lot of movies that are based in fan fantasy. Some of my favorites are based in fan fantasy, being uh, Hal's Moving Castle is probably my favorite. Um, second being Spirited Away. Out of the ones I've seen, um, I enjoy a good four out of the five. Um, so, one of the ones that I wanted to talk about was uh, The Wind Rises. And this is a movie that I just saw recently. And, um, it unfortunately was, uh, Miyazaki's last film. Um, it featured in my version, which was the American version, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt playing a, a man who was a, um, a boy who grew up to be an, a plane engineer, designing planes and creating them, um, in, around the time of, um, you know, Around the time of, uh, I want to say, 1940s something around there. Um, the problem being is this movie is awful. It is just so boring. And it's a shame to consider it Miyazaki's last film. Because it's just undoubtedly just super boring. I found myself at the hour mark just annoyed with it. To the point where I just wanted it to end. Um... The problem I found to be was that these are movies that are based in fantasy and they're animated and they can do so much with the the visuals and the and and the just the just fantasy aspect. You watch fucking Spirited Away, it's just so mind blowing, and you're supposed to think that's just it's just normal. All that's going on is normal, and it's just hard to fathom. It's just such an amazing and whimsical kind of world that you, you see. And then uh, The Wind Rises takes place um, in around 1920, 1930s. There's, there's parts of the movies where he meets um, uh, he meets Stanley Tucci, who is the guy, if you know, um, he plays this Italian guy who's super Italian. Stanley Tucci plays a uh, Caperoni or whatever, and it's this guy that he looks up to, and I wanted to be optimistic about the film because I sat there and watched it with my girlfriend, and she was like, this movie is boring, and I thought, well, this is like a nice ode to like someone who lives their dreams and was working on their dreams all the way, like Walt Disney, and I was like, okay, because Studio Ghibli is, you know, um, John Lasseter uh, made sure that uh, these people saw... You know, people all around the world saw this movie through Disney, and they saw the, um, the the magic of Miyazaki and all his films. And they're great films. I mean, all the ones I've seen, I've not been disappointed until this one. I feel very upset because when I watched it, I had three choices to choose from. And I chose The Wind Rises, and I was so disappointed with the way the movie went. And it's not like a terrible movie where, like, the plot is bad. It just, it just goes nowhere. It drags on and on. And, I mean, I might not get it because I don't know. But it's just the fact that this boy who was nearsighted and could never be a pilot becomes this engineer. And then, like, he becomes the engineer and he works hard at being an engineer. And he, like, you know, he just keeps, you know, building and looking at different things and, uh, you know, just examining things. And he never really has a big break as far as the the being an engineer as far as building airplanes and it doesn't come towards the end of the movie and by then it's just like nothing has really come full circle at all as far as a movie it's 
it almost feels like a documentary that they wanted to animate. It um, it feels very bland and boring, and, and, and things that you think symbolize something go nowhere. And, you know, it's just... It's just a bunch of just just scenes and, and happenings that happen throughout the movie. And I was very disappointed in this movie because a lot of people that I liked were in it. And it it's upsetting because you sit there and watch it. And it, 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 it this movie is very grounded in reality. And, you know, it takes place before World War II. And it's the concept of, like, it's, it's this thing that it just... It just goes nowhere, and it, it's it's really something you really expect to have some kind of fantasy aspect. The only fantasy aspect that was in it was when he met uh, Stanley Tucci's um, a character. Um, if you don't know Stanley Tucci, he is the guy from Hunger Games with the big teeth, uh, the one that would do like the TV interviews and whatnot. Anyway, he was a pedophile in uh, Lovely Bones. Anyway, um, so my point is is that it just. That's him meeting his idol is the only place where the fantasy comes in where he he meets this guy who you they never like really examine or explain if he's real or not. He just meets him in a dream. And that's the one fantasy part about the movie. Um he finds his wife, the wife has tuberculosis and you know she just she dies eventually. She dies when he gets his big break at the end of the movie. And it's something that doesn't have much symbolism like if you want to see a good movie, um, if you want a movie that you can watch and it actually has a, a, a feel to it and a, like, um, you know, a, a point to the story, if it doesn't feel that way right away, is Your Name. Um, I saw Your Name last year and it came out in 2016 and it's like, you know, it's a romantic, uh, it's like a romantic film and it's, you know, kind of fantasy and these, these connections with people that you have. And no matter how, like, strange it is, there's there's these connections with people and, and how you connect with people. And it's just, it's just this weird thing, a weird movie. Anyway, I, I suggest going and seeing Your Name. But if you must watch a boring movie and waste tw two minutes, two minutes. If you must watch a boring movie and want to be entertained by the beautiful art style that is Mizaki, it's, you watch The Wind Rises. It's a movie that I can say that I would never want to watch again. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not bad. It's just not, it doesn't go nowhere. You have these movies that, I mean, Miyazaki, I guess, with movies like Spirited Away and House Moving Castle, some stuff just don't really have a payoff to them. They don't really have a point to getting to a certain place, but it's the fantasy and the, the weird and oddity things that you see along the way that make those movies great, I guess, and it's it's just so strange to see one of those movies and there's nothing that comes out of it. It's just a, a guy just trying to live his dream, and he gets there. There's no, there's no thing in the way. There's no conflict. It's just him living his life, and it's literally just you just watch a guy for two hours from beginning of his life to mid-40s achieve his dreams. And it's just, it's just not a appealing movie, and I'm just, I was very upset, and it left a bad taste in my mouth, and I figured why not do it in my opinion on it. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, all the people who are super fans of Miyazaki can write me in the hate mail. I just don't get this movie. Got somehow placed fourth in a list by Google or some fucking um, blog saying that it was the, fe the fourth bo best movie. Eleven somehow was my favorite movie. And I think, like... I don't know, Spirited Away was like three or four, or no, it was like two or something. I forget. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Oh, so much to um, protect other people, and it really means a lot to have people out there who will sacrifice their lives.